There awesome. we go. It should be a great night, I think. Well, night. Yeah, enjoy yeah. that. Thank you, Tom. A startling medical report for the countless Australians taking blood thinners. That's next. And Gary has the weather and it actually turned out to be quite a nice day. It did. A nice afternoon in the city and just in time for the weekend as well. Temperature dropping now at 16 degrees in the city, down to 13 around the western suburbs. Right now on the Sunshine Coast, also 16 degrees. Mini blocks, big houses. Three bedroom home with quality finishes. New homes for just $300,000. Semi frameless. How this growing trend is giving families a golden key to home ownership. Quality ocean is magnificent. We reveal the pros and cons, plus where you can buy them. Nine News Monday. To finance now, and the stock market closed higher, the all odds up 22 points. Our dollar is buying 76 US cents. Hold off filling up if you can. Petrol prices should fall further after the weekend. In Brisbane right now, unleaded is $1.15 a litre, around the same on the Gold Coast. For decades, anti-clotting drug warfarin has protected millions of Australians against stroke. But there's damning revelations people at high risk are stopping their medication within a year. The inconvenience of taking the drug is one reason, and doctors fear it will lead to devastating consequences. A look ahead of the weekend weather now. Gary, what's in store? Well, not too bad for the weekend, considering what we've felt over the past 48 hours. The winds are backing off and temperatures slowly on the rise as we move into the middle of next week. But looking pretty good around the city today. Certainly more blue sky than cloud cover. The winds did reach up to 30 kilometres per hour this morning. The southerlies have been easing back and even lighter again tomorrow, about 15 to 20 kilometres per hour in the city. Let's have a look at the temperature ranges today. Overnight, 5 degrees in Toowoomba, 7 in Ipswich. Now, it did feel cooler due to the wind chill factor. A high of 21 one in Brisbane, Ipswich and also Bayside, just 20 degrees on the Gold Coast. Redcliffe reaching 21 today, along with the Sunshine Coast, Caboolture 20 degrees, an overnight low of 8 degrees. Now as we look at the weather map for Saturday, a cold front and a trough will bring some showers and thunderstorms into the southwest. The main feature in the east, well the east coast low, it's disappeared over towards New Zealand, a lot of snow falling there at the moment. Clearing conditions for the New South Wales Victorian Alps, for those lucky enough to be hitting the slopes this weekend, they're in for a real treat. Blue skies. Onshore winds will produce a few showers for the New South Wales and Queensland coast tomorrow and the winds easing back gradually even further into Sunday. Showers for Perth tomorrow late afternoon and into the evening so okay to start the day. Five degrees to start in Adelaide and Melbourne. Some early fog in Melbourne and also cloudy. Early fog and frost around Canberra topping out at 13 degrees. A shower in Sydney and 17. Look at Alice Springs another frosty morning. It's about the third one in a row in the negatives. Minus one to start the day. 30 over the top end, a shower or two just on the far north coast of Queensland. Townsville should escape that tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. Chance of a shower in Mackay. Dry, sunny for Mount Isa, down through the central west around Longreach. Maybe a little bit of cloud down through the Maranoa region and also the Capricornia coast and the Wide Bay. Just partly cloudy skies. Temperatures certainly comfortable, reaching the mid-20s for an August afternoon. Now for the southeast, uh, the winds will be south to southeast, 15 to 20 kilometres metres per hour. If there are any showers tomorrow, they'll be running just parallel with the coast, so the Bay Islands and just the coastal fringe might see a light shower or two. The suburbs, mostly dry. 22 in Ipswich, 21 for Caboolture, 22 on the way for Logan, 18 expected in Toowoomba. Now on the Bay, south to south east of the winds, it's been uncomfortable the past few days, 15 to 20 knots tomorrow. Offshore, the sea still up to two metres, but around a metre on the Bay. Overnight, down to 12 degrees in the city, 22 the top tomorrow. And again on Sunday, very slight chance of a shower, fining up and warming up towards the middle of the week. And it's the same forecast really for Ipswich, up to about 25 on Wednesday, but a good weekend. Showers, Saturday, Sunday, clearing Monday morning on the Gold Coast, but it'll just be the coastal fringe. What a start we had this morning on the beaches. Take a look. Yes, a rainbow at Rainbow Beach. A beautiful morning, in fact, and a few waves as well. The southerly swell, well, it's dropped a little bit. That east coast low disappearing out in the Pacific. Still one metre waves today. The southerly winds uh, produce the best surf around the points. Fishing conditions looking quite good as we move into Sunday. So all in all, guys, not a bad weekend. Mm. Sunday, the best yeah. one to be outdoors, I think. Okay. Sounds good. All right, thanks, Gary. And there's more news on our website, 9news.com.au. The Current Affair is up next. Good night. Good night. Good night.